have you ever, give you all that I have. Have you that. ever like all right, but have you ever <laughs> met like all right, so there's a guy, I delivered yeah. pizza to this guy. He's at works at like the church and shit. I go in there and he's like realistically he is a very creepy dude. Yeah. He like looks at you like straight in the eyes like no, God loves you, man. There's something talking about like, you know, Jesus yeah. is real and Jesus loves you. Yeah. And it's just like, dude, like, I'm just trying to give you pizza, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, that's just like... And I'm not trying to ever... <laughs> no, I know, I know. You're not that guy. <laughs> but that guy creeps me out. Yeah. He turns me off, man. I, well, I get it. That's really weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm just trying to... How can I practically live my Christian life without... Because I got cousins who hate what I believe. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I want to... I want to believe... Jake, the freaking God lover, tree I, hugger. I know, but you're right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. someone in high school was like, you hate gays and I never said that in my life. Yeah. I never, that, never that, have that, I yeah, ever... Yeah, that's unfair that they... I've never that. ever said anything like that in my yeah, life, you yeah, know? Yeah. So, but it's stuff like, I just want to practically live my life for God's glory and I want to look... This is the only way I, I think life needs to be lived. I really believe that. Interesting. And then, because uh, like, all right, we got, we kind of talked about desire a little bit, like the longing of the heart. God, I would believe, is the the answer to that. The greatest thing that can make you okay. Sorry, I'm a little scatterbrained. It's good. Aunt Salem of Canterbury. He is a famous middle aged philosopher. Okay. He says that God is the most amazing, happy thing you could ever think about. The most amazing thought you can ever have is God, and God wants us to be that satisfied with Him. Like we want to share in that joy. And it down it does sound like lofty and weird yeah, yeah, and yeah. mystical. I get it, but really, there's you know. The, the greatest longing of the human heart is, I, I think it's for God. And Christ is what bridges that. But it's that leap of faith that you have to take. Yeah, yeah. So, you know what I mean? Because, yeah, there is there is a chance I'm wrong. I don't believe I'm wrong. Yeah. But there, I have to know that there's a chance I'm yeah. wrong. But I, I strongly don't think so. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's interesting. But you have to be okay with that, Luke, because, you know, yeah. there's not a lot of certainty. Yeah. You know I mean, like, life is not certain. It's true. So you, That's the true part, though. I, I like yeah. that. That's but I believe there's enough evidence to believe it, and I want to give my life for it. And I think everyone else needs to do it. And the Bible is such a beautiful story of redemption. I was literally reading this morning about... Are you going to be a missionary? Going to places? It's like, <laughs> get away from my island. It's like, no, don't shoot me. It's no. like, bro, RIP Jake. He went to an uh, island trying to, convert, trying to convert these Amazonians, and he got fucked up. I just want to be faithful. I want to be no, faithful to Christ. That's good, man. And um, I want to live normal life in light of all this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Well, I think. But I believe it, in heaven and hell. Yeah. And I believe that eternity is real. And, yeah. you know, we're going to go somewhere, you know. So. Well, that's, I think that's pretty positive in, in a certain aspect. And, and, a, and like a moral judgment, like yeah. you hold yourself accountable. There is a heaven and hell. I'm not trying to go to hell. So let's try to figure out how, like, what, yeah. what could I do to be yeah. a good person? Like, and I hold myself accountable. Like, I believe very. I believe very much in karma. Yeah. So like that, like I use God in the idea of karma. Like I just like, I just think if you're an asshole or if bad thing, like, yeah. like sometimes like I feel bad doing this, but sometimes like I read in the news and like, like something happens to someone and it sounds yeah. a terrible story. And sometimes I'm like, it could be, it's like, you never know what that yeah. person did in life. Like and I, sometimes I, I kind of feel I don't know weird. If I, I don't believe it. Sometimes I feel <laughs> weird like just doing that, yeah. but. I don't know. I just kind of believe in karma. Like, you, like you do good things to people. You're mm-hmm. a good, nice person. You're lovable. Like, you don't want to hurt anybody. Mm-hmm. Like, feelings. Like, yeah. physically. Like, some people go out to the bar trying to fight people. Like, like, mm-hmm. the, like all these things. All these things just like add up. And it's like, sim- <laughs> simply, like I just, I don't know. I, yeah. think, I kind of believe in karma. Like, if you're an asshole, I think it will come and get you, and mm-hmm. it, it'll God will come and judge you. So yeah. at some point, however you want to terminize that. Yeah. God will come and judge you. And if you're good, again, God's coming to judge you. Mm-hmm. However you kind of want. I do kind of believe some of those type of yeah. like. Now, we don't believe in karma. Okay? And that's that's like a Hindu concept. What the? I love the Hindi. <laughs> Hindus and the Buddhists. Just because we believe like I try to, we want to base our theology, like the way we view God off of scripture. Mm-hmm. And scripture says that God is supremely good, supremely just, supremely holy. All the wonderful characteristics of God, supremely loving and showing grace. So, like, if I mess up, I don't believe if I break my leg. Say if I did something horrible morally, that the next and the next day later I broke my leg. I, I can't, I'm not going to believe that because I believe that God. I'm not going to believe that me breaking my leg is based off of God's karma because God's character is consistent. It's, it's completely loving, not like half loving, but completely holy, completely But there is graceful. a sense like realistic karma, like, hey, my, like my friend Joe. Joe, I love you. We're not, me and him are not the best snowboarders. Yeah. We should be taking it easy. He starts hitting these jumps. Like, dude, you shouldn't be doing it. We don't warm up. He doesn't really exercise, mm-hmm. like, you know, strengthen his legs and shit. Booms, falls, tears his ACL. 
I'm not blaming God, but that is karma, okay. right? Like you, you didn't have to, you know, we're not that good at snowboarding. Yeah. You're not doing these fucking hardcore crazy exercises where your knees are yeah. bulletproof and shit. You're not doing that. So then you're locked into a snowboard and you do some jumps that yeah. you shouldn't be doing. We're not good enough, right? You got to challenge yourself to try to be better yeah. at snowboarding. You fall, you tear your ACL. Yeah. That's karma. Like well, you, sh- you got to know like, better at some point. I see like, what you're saying, but like the knowledge, I'm like, I, and I also know like th- we're kind of like yeah. two two different two totally different things. Definitely, yeah. Apples and oranges. Like the that's kind of how I look at yeah, it. Yeah, the knowledge, like what I'm appealing to. So like I would say, I don't believe in karma, but then I would give a reason for it, like scripture. Like scripture says this is the case. Where like karma, it's like no, I just assume based on my own intuition that this is karma. You know what I mean? So like Christianity is based off of something. You yes, know what I, mean? it's based I know what you mean. Where yes. karma. It's not. It's karma mean, could be anything. Exactly. Oh, I and know I what can't, you mean. We can't live a life like that. I, yeah, we I, need a certain amount of certainty in our I, life. That may, I understand. Objective certainty. That makes sense to me. That, that, that rationali- rationali- That's why rationalizes with rationalizes. me. Rationalizes. So, yeah. yeah. And I think, yeah. I mean, I don't want to keep saying the same thing, but Christianity, it's, it's convincing. And I think the argument's there. It's a leap of faith. And I think it, prov- it has the best answers out of any other religion in the world. And obviously, I haven't studied every other religion, but I know enough about it. To know that I've never encountered something so beautiful in my life. So why would I not want to, you know, live to please God? You know what I mean? Why would I not want to give everything for Christ? Think of like the agony Christ went on. This is the way we think about it. God created the world and he made everything great and it fell into, we know we fell into sin and misery. God would be so loving to take on human flesh. So me, I can actually get through life because, and when I do have a problem, I can think, well, you know what? God knows what it's like to have problems because he was on the cross. Yeah. Boy, that's that's life-changing. If I can, if I think that, if I appeal to my God, that my God's well, experience can, what I've experienced. You, you could know? hold the same perspective, but not hold it to Jesus Christ. You could hold it to, what about the soldiers that are mm-hmm. tor- kidnapped and tortured yeah. or people that are kidnapped and tortured or women yeah. that are raped and abused or kids uh, that get, like yeah. we, they feel the same amount but of, how much more we, I mean, as you know? in a perspective yeah. wise of like, Hey, I should be grateful yeah. and I should be grateful because these same humans that God created and mm-hmm. are living in the same atmosphere, not just Jesus, but you know, Joe Schmo from down the block yeah. got kidnapped and raped. Well, I don't know what it is. And he got tortured too. So I got to be grateful because I know what happened to him mm-hmm. and I know he suffered and I know he is suffering or yeah. whatever it is. Well, that's, that's a good mindset to have, but that's kind of where I stay. I see what you're saying, but how much more would it mean if it was God? Oh, God went through that. God, you know, God took on the cross for my sin and you know, it, there's a book in the Bible called the letter of Hebrews and it says that he became in any, every way like us, Christ. So Christ, God became man in the person of Christ. So like I can get through things. Yeah. Like you can say, well, this guy went through it. I can do it. But what is that like to think about a God who is supremely good and he went through all that. So I actually can get through this because the Lord of the universe took on flesh and he went through it. It's just a game changer where you yeah. can say, yeah, you know, these soldiers went through this yeah. or whatever, but it's a game changer at a different level. I know. Because you're talking about God. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, And I understand it's lofty and people yeah, will get yeah, uncomfortable with yeah, spiritual yeah, conversation, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's good. And that's fine, but... Oh, this is, this is, this is what the Keep It Real podcast needs, these conversations. This is, bro, I just... 